Hello and welcome along. In this mod spotlight, we are taking a look at the AgriCAD pack by Steenie Kemp Modding, uh, which is released as part of the Farming Simulator Giant Mod Contest 2017. Uh, it is a large uh, collection of mods, actually. It's uh, quite a big pack. Um, they are based on a set of uh, Australian implements. And uh, yeah, there is a lot of choice and a lot of options here. So we will quickly go through them all. Uh, and my first impression before I go through exactly what's in the, the pack in uh, that we have here uh, is that while there's a really nice array of equipment, the textures could do with a little bit of work. It, it, it all looks a little bit flat and a, a little bit... Um, Three modelly rather than uh, in game, uh, you know, going for. I've seen more realistic textures with more detail, and uh, yeah, that my first impression is that is where it lacks a bit. This mod, um, but we'll work our way from the left to the right. So uh, I'm going to try and read them off the uh, off the equipment here. Uh, we have the DH960 uh, discs. Uh, we have the DH. 440 discs, uh, the DH320 discs, uh, and finally over here the uh, DH720 discs. Uh, we have a uh, an uh, the trailer here, uh, the RT270. I think this does this isn't actually a tipper. It um, unloads on the underside. We can't actually. Can we jump up there and have a look inside? No, we can't. Uh, well, we can in one way. Let's just go up there. and So, yeah, it unloads through the bottom. So, uh, which is uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, we have this, which is, if we can squeeze through here, uh, the PS04P, which is uh, uses the, uh, a, something called the ProBox seat handling system, uh, which if we come back through here, is what this is so that's a pro box uh so those load onto the back i think what you can do is you can fill it up because it does have a I, I did load one into it and then you can load four more onto the top uh which is uh fantastic uh i really i really would quite like to try that out i think that'd be quite a cool mod to use um then here we have a set of rollers uh, these are, if we can see the number, we can't see the number for these by the looks of things. So uh, we'll look that up. Oh no, there we are. The LR113. And then we have the first of the overloaders, which is uh, this one here, uh, where the number is again on the back. The TF240. Uh, and then here is our other loader, which is a huge one, uh, which is the MB700. That I think is, I think these two used in conjunction would be really quite useful. So that one for use on the field, that at the edge, and then lorries just coming along and filling off this uh, would be quite cool. Uh, then we have here the KT094. That is a cedar. Uh, and similarly, we have the KT130 and the KT190 here, uh, which are, those. those are the three cedars. Uh, three, you know, gradually getting larger cedars. Uh, and then we have uh, this subsoiler um, sort of culty plough, which is, where's the number on this? Uh, it does not say by the looks of things. Uh, we will we will find this in the shop. So we have this, this one, which is the smaller one. And then we have this beast here at the front. Uh, which, for me, this is the absolute star of this pack. Uh, this on the big bud, on uh, somewhere like Cherry Hills, where we're doing at the moment, will make short work of those fields. So much bigger than any of the ploughs that are out there. Uh, and I really want to give that a try out. And we may go and try out the, the sm its smaller brother uh, here in a minute. Uh, but yeah, so that's an overview of the equipment itself. Uh, which, yeah, I I like the variety to this. I like the options that are in this. Uh, without any, if there are no other major issues beyond, well, if there are no issues other than the textures, 
Uh, I think this is going to be a fantastic uh, pack. Uh, it's, uh, as I said before, it's not at that excellent level. It is at that great level. It really is. So we're going to pop over here where we have a Fent waiting for us. And we're going to jump in that. And uh, we're going to move the big one out of the way. Uh, uh, well, yeah, we're going to move the big uh, culty, uh, cultivator uh, stroke subsoiler out of the way. And, uh, and we'll grab the smaller one. And we will have a go on one of our fields with it. And then I think what we might do is grab one of the small discs as well and try that out quickly. So we'll move this out of the way. This uh, this takes 690 horsepower. It is the one I remember off the top of my head because I looked at it and went, wow, that is uh, insane, that piece of equipment. Uh, and uh, yeah, on a bigger map, I think I'll try that out. But we'll go and try out his little brother and just see how that functions, see how that works. Uh, and then we'll grab the little cedar next to it as well. Uh, this does see this does seem to just be a fantastic pack in general. So we'll just pop over here to this field, and uh, at the edge, we will uh, unfold it, and we'll see what this does. Oh, so there we go. So it's the lowering. Uh, Get you in there, and it is a plow. So it is a yeah, it is a subsoiler. Uh, this tractor is going fine with this, and uh, yeah, that's a fantastic piece of equipment. I really like that. I kind of like the subsoilers and using the subsoilers. So um, yeah, I'm enthused by this. This is uh, this is a really fantastic pack. I like it very, very much. So we'll go one way up here and then we will uh, turn around and come back so that we can get our cedar on here as well. But that is, that's awesome. And a really sharp turning circle as well, which will be, which will be a big necessity for the big one. And then it's back in and away you go again. So it's, uh, this works brilliantly. I like this very, very much. Well worth checking out this pack, I think. And uh, and having some of that, having some of this equipment on the farm, I think would be really good. So we've done two strips here. We're going to go and get the smaller of the cedars and give that a try quickly. And that gives just that'll give us just a sort of a small idea of uh, of this pack. Uh, but I'm impressed. Uh, I'm very impressed. That is that is a nice piece of kit. That uh, discs will do uh, similar. Uh, they will, of course, do cultivation. I think. Uh, have we got? We have the time. We will give. We will give this all a quick go. So we'll see how the discs work, and then we'll get a. Uh, Then we'll get one of the uh, other ones out. So we'll get the wider of the two discs here that don't fold up. Oh, and give this a try. There we go. So again, nice little bit of kit. it down and away we go so yes so these cultivate and uh, and go decent speed cultivating as well actually uh, yeah that works well I like that a lot uh, any other options on this not no not by those things so they don't they don't uh, alter or move or anything like that uh, not that I was overly expecting them to, but uh, you know, good to good to check anyway. There we are. So that works. That works very nicely. I am. 
I am impressed by this pack. This pack is a very, very nice pack. Uh, it just, that little bit of touch on the textures would be fantastic. But in general, yeah. Uh, I think I recommend this I, uh, very much. I might see if I can use a couple of these bits. Right, so we'll pop that back up and uh, we will just grab the smaller of the cedars and give that a try. But in all, it seems to they seem to be working really nicely. Uh, no issues at all. Uh, that this is giving us on our test map. Hmm. That's interesting. Thank you. Where is our seed trigger point? It may be, now there is a thought here, that this may not fill. Oh, this is a sprayer. This is a sprayer. I take it back. I thought this was a cedar. So if we back this up to here. There we go. We'll put some liquid fertilizer in. So, yeah, I'm, I was wrong about that. I admit I was wrong. That must inject the seed into the... Uh, the um, fertilizer into the ground, then. That's awesome. That I really like. So, we don't seem to have in this uh, any kind of cedar. So, it, yeah, it doesn't come with that, but... That's a very interesting and different um, Yeah, like that. Oh, I like that very much. That is very different. And quite cool, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. So there we go. Uh, We'll turn it off and uh, fold it up. There we go. So yeah, so it's a it's a sprayer, not a cedar. Uh, that's in this. Uh, it's, <laughs> that's really cool. I like this pack an awful lot. This is. Despite its texture issues, uh, this is a very good mod. Uh, right, but we do need to go and have a look through the shop quickly. So we'll get this parked back up. And once we've done that, we'll get the big one parked back up. And then we will have a look in the shop. Yeah, yeah, and this big beast, this is going to be absolutely fantastic to use. I look forward to find. I really want to look forward to. Uh, I look forward to finding an excuse to use it, basically. Uh, and uh, if I can talk the other midweek multiplayers into having it in, I think I think we will have to, because it is just that is going to change plowing on uh, Cherry Hills quite considerably. Right, so there we go. We'll drop that off and park our fence out of the way. Like that. And we'll go and have a look in the shop. So, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, we will go by brand. Now, uh, the first thing I will pull up quickly is... Over here, we've got the Pioneer. Uh, this is the seed box. There is a uh, thousand liters for a thousand pounds. It's uh, basically a big bag. 
absolutely great. I, I love this. It's, uh, yeah, compared to, um, oops, compared to other pallets, you're looking at uh, a thousand liters for 900 pounds. So they're slightly more expensive, but do go with this piece of equipment. And here's the AgriCAD pack. Uh, so you've got the AgriCAD. Uh, now there's no customization on any of these. So we will go through, uh, we'll just go through it on this screen here. Uh, you've got the AgriCAD RVT11 for 30,000 uh, pounds. 10 pound a day, 270 uh, horsepower requirement. Uh, it is a five meter width and the working speed is six miles an hour. Uh, you've got the AgriCAD RVT11. 29 now this is the big one uh it is 10 pound 10 only 10 pound a day maintenance uh but requires 670 horsepower so nothing but the i think the two biggest tractors in the game will pull this uh and that's including the big big bud uh it is 13 meter width and six miles an hour so a 13 meter width plow that is fantastic awesome for big maps uh we've got the agricad dh320 for forty thousand pounds uh it's 15 pound a day 160 horsepower 4.2 meters and nine miles per hour working speed uh we then go up to the agricad dh440 again 15 pound a day requires 240 horsepower and is at 5.8 meters next uh, I think that may have gone too far. Nope, that hasn't. Uh, next, we have the AgriCAD LR113. Uh, 220 pound a day, 170 horsepower. Uh, takes one litre of uh, liquid fertiliser by the looks of things. Uh, and uh, is 11 metres, a uh, working speed of 12 miles per hour. Or oh, actually, that could be fuel. I think that's... No, that's liquid fertilizer is what that is. Then we have the AgriCAD TF240 overloader. Uh, it is £100 a day. Uh, holds 24,000 litres. And, uh, and yeah, takes most crops as well as solid fertilizer and seed. We then have the AgriCAD MB700 for £70,000. Uh, that takes 70,000 litres. Uh, is £100 a day, uh, again takes the same amount as um, the TF240. Then we have uh, the trailer, uh, which is the AgriCAD RT270. £15 a day, 27,000 litres, uh, takes pretty much everything. Uh, is not a tipper though, it uh, unloads through the base by the looks of things. Then... Uh, we have uh, the AgriCAD DH720 for $90,000. £15 a day, 36, uh, sorry, 360 horsepower, 9.5 metres and 9 miles per hour. Uh, and these are, these are the folding discs. So uh, it's bigger brother. The AgriCAD DH960 is 120,000. Uh, again, £15 a day, but requires 480 horsepower. Uh, has a 12 metre width and goes at 9 mile an hour uh, working speed. Then we have, uh, so it's classed as an auger wagon this, but it's it's sort of a, yeah, it's an interesting setup for the AgriCAD. PS04P, uh, it's £100 a day, it takes 1,000 litres itself, but as I said, you can put four of those containers on top of it as well. So actually we'll hold 5,000 litres of seed. Uh, and we'll take most things. Uh, but obviously, yeah, seed is the, the main use of that. Then you have the uh, AgriCAD KT094 uh, sprayer, uh, which is £220 a day. Uh, is requires 136 horsepower. Holds 7,000 litres, has a 9.2 metre width, uh, takes liquid fertiliser and goes at 12 mile, uh, it's 12 mile an hour work speed. Uh, final two are the AgriCAD KT130 sprayer. 
Uh, this is again 220 pound a day, requires 204 horsepower. Uh, like the previous one, takes 7,000 liters, has a 12 meter working width, and again goes at 12 miles an hour and takes liquid fertilizer. And the final sprayer is the Agricad KT190. Uh, again, £220 a day. 272 uh, horsepower requirement. Only 7,000 litres uh, like the other two. 18 metre working width. 12 mile an hour working speed. And takes liquid fertiliser. So that is, very quickly, the entire pack. Uh, that's a lot of equipment for... Uh, for this mod and I, I love it actually the more i've used this just now the more i've come to love it and the, the more i can overlook uh the dullness of the textures i mean there are some nice things and there's not it's not like the textures are uh have a a, a lot of uh, bits or pixelated or anything like that i mean there's some real detail on it it's just that they're a little bit flat uh, which is not, and that's not a massive criticism at all at the end of the day. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, that little bit of change, that little bit of update, just to make this whole thing a little bit more shiny and a little bit less dull, would lift this mod from being a great one to a fantastic one, I think. Uh, but uh, I still would recommend it. I would still say go download this, go check it out. I think it's, I think it's a great mod. Uh, well worth checking out and that's where i'm gonna leave it and all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this mod spotlight please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel i will see you next time goodbye